Why do animals need homes? Animals need homes for many of the same reasons that people do. What are some of those reasons? Start by thinking about your own home and the kinds of things you do there. Eating is one very important thing you do every day. Your house has a kitchen where you store and prepare food. Some animals also keep food in their homes. Honeybees, for example, live in hives made, of, made up of waxy honeycombs. Each honeycomb has many six-sided cubbies or cells where the bees store their honey. The cells of the honeycomb are also used as nurseries for young bees. And that may remind you of another reason people and animals need homes. They need a safe place to raise their young. Birds' nests, alligator mounds, and the dens of polar bears are other kinds of homes made for raising a family. Doesn't it feel good to come indoors on a cold winter day or turn up the air conditioner on a hot and humid summer night? That's another reason we need a home to protect us from bad weather. The desert tortoise lives in dry parts of the southwestern United States where summer temperatures often go above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. To escape the heat, the tortoise digs a shallow burrow or hole where it can rest during the hottest part of the day. In the winter, when temperature falls below freezing, the tortoise digs a much deeper burrow, then it climbs in and spends winter there, hibernating with other tortoises. Underground burrows also give animals a place to hide from their enemies. Prairie dogs, for example, dig long, winding burrows with many different rooms and tunnels. Many people's homes have a front door, a back door, and maybe even a side door. A prairie dog burrow has several openings too. If a hungry predator invades the barrel through the main entrance, the prairie dogs can escape out the back way. Some animals build homes for more tricky reasons. Many spiders spin webs mainly to trap unlucky insects. Now that you know some of the reasons animal needs homes, let's find out about some unusual animal homes. Building a home. Many animals build their own homes. These animal architects can be birds, mammals, insects, and even fish. The African weaver bird's name is a clue to the way this bird builds its nest. The male weaver bird gathers long blades of grass which he knots and weaves into a sturdy ring. Then he adds grass to the ring making a hollow ball. To keep out tree snakes, the ball is open only at the bottom. When the nest is finished, the weaver bird calls to attract nearby females. If a female likes the nest, she moves in and the two raise a family. Some insects build homes too. One of the largest and most complicated structures in the animal world is created by tiny African termites. A termite tower may be as tall as a giraffe and contain millions of termites. The walls of the tower are made of a rock hard mixture of dirt and saliva. They contain air shafts that keep the inside of the tower cool, even in the blazing sun. The tower has many special rooms. It has a royal chamber where the termite king and queen live, nurseries for the young, rooms for storing food, and even an underground garden. Most termites live for only a few years, but a termite tower may last for close to a century. Have you ever heard people say someone is as busy as a beaver? You'd know what they mean if you saw how much work goes into building a beaver lodge. First, the beaver uses sticks and mud to make a dam across a stream. Then water backs up behind the dam to form a pond. In the center of the pond, the beavers build their lodge. It looks like nothing more than a pile of sticks, but the lodge has a room inside that is reached by underwater tunnels. The beavers can come and go easily, but it's almost impossible for wolves and other predators to find a way in. Finding a home. Bees, weaver birds, termites, and beavers all work long and hard to build their homes, but some animals take the easy way out. They look around for ready-made lodgings. Unlike most other crabs, the hermit crab does not have a hard shell to protect it. It needs a safe place to live, so the hermit crab searches for an empty snail shell. When it finds a shell that fits, the hermit crab squeezes it inside. It stays there until it grows too big for that shell. Then it must look for a larger shell. The pea crab doesn't even wait until a shell is empty. This tiny crab moves in with the original owner. It squeezes into the shell of a mussel, clam, or oyster while that animal is still alive. The shellfish isn't even bothered by the pea crab sharing its home. As the shellfish filters food through its gills, the pea crab catches tiny bits of food as they float past. The cowbird is even more daring. Instead of building its own nest, the female cowbird searches the forest for other nesting birds. When she sees a likely cu couple, she settles down to wait. As soon as the unsuspecting birds leave their nest, the cowbird darts in and throws out one of their eggs. Then she quickly lays one of her own. The nesting birds never know the difference. They raise the cowbird chick as if it were one of their own. Birds don't usually live underground, but one that does is the burrowing owl. 
these long-legged owls sometimes move into abandoned prairie dog burrows. The birds come out in the cool of the evening to hunt small rodents, frogs, and insects. Mobile homes. Most people and most animals live in homes that stay in one place, but if you've ever traveled in a camper, trailer, or boat, you know that some kinds of homes can move around with you. Did you know that some animals also live in mobile homes? Tortoises and turtles move slowly. You might think they would be easy prey for any animal that wanted to eat them, but tortoises and turtles can escape into their safety of their homes in a flash, simply by pulling their head and feet inside their hard shell. The snail is another animal that carries its house on its back. Snails need damp conditions in order to survive. In cold or dry weather, the snail retreats into its spiral shell to avoid drying out. A kind of caterpillar called the bagworm makes its home out of twigs woven together with silk. The bagworm lives inside the silken case and drags its shelter along as it moves from branch to branch feeding on leaves.